Okay, we're going to show you how to open up uh, Optiplex 745 to change out hard drive. Uh, first of all, get the monitor off of the CPU. Then we're going to look at the left-hand rear where you'll see the security lock. And what we'll do is we'll push that tab back and it'll spring the lid. Now you can take the lid off. Set it aside. Next thing, the hard drive lives underneath the CD and the floppy drive, so we need to get those out of the way. And the first thing we need to do is find this blue tab here. And what we'll do is we'll lift up on it and then push out the CD drive and push on the floppy drive. Then we will lift the CD straight up and then flip it backwards. We'll do the same thing with the floppy drive. Lift that and flop it over. And now we see the hard drive. To get the hard drive out, first we need to disconnect the two cables, the blue one and the power cord, the multicolored one. All you have to do is get your fingers in and just push back towards the power supply and they'll pop right out. Let's see if I can get a little closer and show you how to do the power cord. Just get in, push back, pops out. It goes to the side. Now we need to find there's two little blue wings that hold it in there and where my thumb is. Squeeze those and then with your other free hand, which I don't have, push the hard drive back. I'll see if I can leave the camera. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, now we're going to replace the hard drive with the next one and do it in reverse. Make sure that your connectors are in the back. You'll see some numbers. I don't know if you can make it out in this video, but the one, first one in the back is called number one, and that's where we'll put the tabs. We'll drop it in, pull it forward so that it snaps in. In the rear, you'll see little engravings on where your cables will need to line up. I usually work with the power cord first. Follow the engravings for alignment and kind of fiddle around until they slip in. And do the same thing with the blue cable. It fits up right next to the power cord kind of snaps in the same way, and I wish I could get this in so you could see better. There we go. Now we'll replace the floppy drive. It'll go into the slots labeled number two. Pull it forward until it snaps. And the CD. This tends to be a little trick here. You usually need to fit the right hand side in and then drop the left hand down and again pull it forward until it clicks. Now you can replace the lid. You'll see the two notches fit into the notches in the hard drive and it will just pivot down, snap down. And that is it. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.